Today marks the first day of the brand new Crypto Busy trading course. Now this is a completely free YouTube course we're gonna be doing over the next month or two months. I haven't decided exactly how many episodes there are gonna be just yet, but we're gonna be doing these free episodes multiple times per week where I'm gonna be your teacher and I'm gonna take you through the basics and give you a beginner's guide of trading. And that's psychology, that'll be trading tips, advice, things that I have learned through my seven years of trading. And on top of that, I'll be showing you different strategies along the way, how to use different indicators. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, and I know a lot of you are, we've had a lot of requests for this, then make sure if you are subscribed, keep that notification bell on so you're watching the multiple episodes each week. As well, if you're not subscribed, you just found this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification button so you can stay up to date. And at the end of this big course, I'm going to compile it all into one big video as well. And we're going to make that watchable so then you can have that to refer to at any period. But this is going to be a playlist of videos, multiple multiple episodes going through each and every indicator I personally see as valuable price action as well as psychology I think psychology is super super important now a few things just about this course uh, I want to do this as professionally as possible obviously we do have the paid course that we've done uh, a couple of years ago that course is still great I still fully believe in that course but that is a slightly more advanced way of doing things it does cover the basics but it does go more in depth this is going to hopefully be more of an introduction to trading and it's going to really give a good idea on how you should approach it and what you can utilize to then build your own strategies around that as well. And then I'll go into maybe a bit more intermediate advanced stuff at the end of these episodes in the near future. So let me just address a few things to start with. First thing is I'm not selling any dreams here, guys. I'm not, I'm not telling you trading is your key to making thousands and thousands of dollars every day. Trading is incredibly difficult and uh, take it from someone who's been doing it for seven years and you know has only really been profitable in the last three or four. You know, it takes time to learn. Now, I'm not saying it takes everyone that long, but uh, for me, it did take a while. It took a few uh, blown accounts in terms of losing money, and eventually I got there. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's all about risk discipline, uh, risk management, psychology, as well as the strategy you have. Now, strategy is actually only really half of it. If not, some people say strategy is only really 20% of it, uh, because psychology is the thing that plays the biggest part. Now, today is this the introduction. I'm just going to be going over psychology in general and just making it clear of a few things and talking about what we're going to talk about as well as giving you a few key tools uh, to start your journey with. So let's start with some expectations. I think that's probably fair to do. So this, I think, was quite a good way of summing it up. So this person asks, I've seen a few uh, advertisements for programs that teach you how to day trade stocks. Now, this is crypto in this case, but just so you know, everything I'm going to be teaching in this is going to be applicable to stocks, crypto and Forex. Now, could I make money by day trading? That's a big question, right? So some day traders do make money. However, the odds are not in your favor. And that is completely true. Uh, one research report published by several university professors determined that in any given year, only about 13% of day traders achieve a profit. Even worse, the study found that less than 1% of day traders consistently make money. So this just goes to show how difficult it is. This is not easy, guys. This is not something you can just pick up in a day. Um, I mean, maybe if you're super, super tapped in, you might be able to, but this is something that's gonna take time. And I really, really recommend you put the effort in and time because it is one of those things that if you become in that top 13% and in that 1%, you can actually make some good money from it. Now, the reason I think why it's so low is because so many people give up so early on. I don't think that's just, you know, 1% of people that do it for multiple years. That's more like 1% of people that start. And then a lot of people give up after two or three months because they're not seeing a return. But again, it's like anything. It's if you go to school, university, you shouldn't expect to know everything in the first few months. You know, it takes time uh, and it takes effort. So that is what I really want to get across here, guys. I'm not telling you the secrets to make millions tomorrow. I am telling you. Uh, the tools uh, that you can use yourself as well as a few strategies along the way that will hopefully make you money but it's also down to you to maintain that psychology that powerful mindset and be able to go through it now one book i'd like to recommend uh, i believe you can find it and listen free on audible or something like that uh, but trading in the zone this is one book that i've really really enjoyed with trading and i definitely recommend either listening to it or reading it uh, and i think you can get it for a free trial on here um, but i'm not sure i'm sure you can find it somewhere else if you're not i'm sure you can buy it but it's a great book and it will teach you what you need to know in terms of that discipline and that winning attitude and how to you know approach the market with confidence because that is key so that's just one recommendation there. And uh, of course, like I said, we do have the Pro Trader course out there. The link is in the description for that if you want that. But remember, that is a slightly more advanced thing. So if you're a complete beginner, you can still go down that route. We still do have, you know, you can see the beginner curriculum. However, um, you know, I'd say that's more of an advanced and the next step almost. So feel free to watch the free content and then decide as well.
So let's go into some trading psychology and you know this won't be a super long video I'm just going to go over this and a couple of tools and then we'll get into uh, the next few episodes over the next few days covering some indicators and cool stuff but the importance of trading psychology this is why psychology is so key and why I keep banging on about it because it really is something that people underestimate they think oh if I have a great strategy I'm going to be able to make great money and you know that's what I thought when I came into the markets and I was quickly quickly mistaken because you can have the best strategy in the world but if you can't handle the emotions when trading and you're impulse trading or you're you know uh, not being able to hold a trade because you're too scared of where the price is going to go you're going to be a losing trader unfortunately and that's the harsh reality uh, so really mastering psychology is really really important now uh, I, what I would say to everyone that is looking to trade guys do not start trading uh, with real money start with a demo account or if you are going to start with real money then start with a very very small amount this would be opening up an account on a brokerage uh, I would recommend not using leverage to start with just you know using basic money and uh, you can start with uh, there can be leverage firms such as uh, Bybit FTX stuff like that but just do not utilize the leverage aspect. Now, if you do want a link to one of those, there is a link to Bybit in the description. Uh, but I, again, I don't recommend you use leverage if you are a brand new beginner, only if you know what you're doing. And we'll cover leverage again later on in this series. So one of the things is snap decisions. Traders often have to think fast and make quick decisions. This is super true. I mean, obviously there's timeframes in trading. You can choose to trade on a one day chart, which means you only really have to check the chart once a day. Or you could trade on a one minute chart where you have to check it every single minute. So it really is up to you and what time you have as a trader. I think a very uh, big misconception is that you have to spend your whole time looking at charts and have you have to have 10 screens to be a trader. And that is not true. I started with just my laptop and I checked the charts once per day. And I'm now in the position where I still pretty much do the same thing. I still just use my laptop and I still check the charts once or twice a day and I'm a profitable trader. So it just goes to show you don't have to have all this fancy setup uh, to be a good trader. So snap decisions, you have to make uh, fast decisions. And to accomplish this, you have to have that discipline to stick to your trading plan. We'll cover how to make a trading plan in the series as well. But uh, to make a trading plan and to stick to it is the most important thing. You've got to give yourself rules and you've got to follow these rules. And if you don't follow these rules, that's how you lose money. So understanding fear is another big thing uh, in crypto, especially I'm sure if you're an investor in crypto, you are very accustomed to fear. And this is why we talk about, you know, the fear and greed index. We talk about FOMO. This is where people get scared of where price is going uh, or, you know, if they know that uh, price is going down against them, they get scared. And that emotion maybe makes them take the trade off early uh, or maybe they lose money because they make a bad decision due to fear uh, or they sell when they should actually still stick with their original analysis. There's lots of things uh, that people do wrong with fear and emotion is the hardest thing to get over. Again, take it from me who's been doing this for a long time. It is tough to deal with emotion in trading and uh, it's possible. You just have to really get accustomed to it and you have to understand, you know, losing money is part of the game. It really is. You, you have to realize that in trading, you're going to have days where you don't make money. In fact, you're going to have days where you lose money. But if you're a good trader, you'll have more days where you make money and overall you'll be profitable. But that's just part of the day. I, again, I've been doing it for seven years. I am a profitable trader and you can watch other videos of, I've done on the channel. You can watch my free trading strategies as well. And you can see, you know, I've made some great trades, but at the same time, I still make bad trades. Everyone makes bad trades, even if you're a professional. So uh, do understand that it is out of your control sometimes and sometimes the markets will beat you. Now, overcoming greed, that's another huge, huge key here. And I definitely recommend you check this article out as well on Investopedia. It really sums it up great. And overcoming greed is one of those things where greed is such a tough thing to deal with in trading. Because when I first started, I think I started with uh, one or $200 in my account. And I remember seeing a profit because I was super over leveraged, which is really stupid of me at the time. But I was in profit for about 100 or $200 on my 100 or $200 account. And I thought that was crazy because, you know, I was 15 or 16 at the time. Uh, and this was like you know, crazy money for me. Uh, and I just thought, well, what if that 200 becomes a thousand? What if that becomes 10,000, right? And I would never close the trade. And eventually I remember waking up one morning and I'd end up lost all my money in that account because I'd been holding on for this greedy reasons when I already had more than enough profit. So that's another thing, you know, don't take more than you need. Now setting rules, again, something we'll talk about in more in depth, but to to be able to be a successful trader, you have to have rules that you stick to and discipline is so key. But again, we'll, we'll talk more about risk to reward, risk management in the future. Uh, now, research and review. This is more about stocks. I mean, in crypto, it's still important, but 
if we're day trading i would recommend only day trading the top currencies in fact i pretty much exclusively trade bitcoin just because it's got the most volume uh, which means the most people trade that therefore you don't get weird price movements compared to if you traded like a number 5000 coin for example so that is pretty much all i wanted to cover in terms of psychology for now again we'll get into more of this in the future and the last thing i just want to cover quickly is guys if you've seen my charts in other videos on that they look like this for example uh, i use a platform called trading view now it's free you can use it for free i personally pay for a subscription uh, to get no ads and to use more indicators but what you can do is literally just get it for free if you don't mind ads uh, it's tradingview.com uh, might be able to leave a link to it in the description if not then just uh, just tradingview.com on google and you can subscribe or you know, sign up or whatever and uh, therefore then you can go through and utilize that and you can get your uh, charts to look like this and we'll cover how to set up a chart in the future as well but yeah so that is pretty much everything with the the charts and with the setup with the psychology so i just wanted to make sure you guys are clear on all of this and that uh, you know i'm not selling any dreams and i think this will be a really valuable course guys i think we're going to learn a lot from it uh, and i'm really really excited to share it with you if you did enjoy this please please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more of this you know we're going to be doing this for the next couple of months and i think you guys are really going to benefit from it and even if you're already a trader i think there's maybe some stuff that you can learn along the way so check that out also check out the free trading group in the description if you want to trade alongside us maybe you already know what you're doing or you just want some free trades to copy uh, we do have a free telegram as well where we give out free trades that we use ourselves so uh, yeah really exciting stuff guys i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a comment let me know how you find it and if you're excited for the rest of this i'm super excited and i'll catch you in the next one bye mm -hmm.